that this government wants Kashmiris to pick up guns because it is closing, closing all the options from them. Media is being muzzled. You had a press club in Srinagar. For the love of God, please tell me where that press club is. There is no freedom of expression in Jammu and Kashmir. It is my su uh, submission to you that if elections take place, they should take place on a ballot paper, not on EVM, because we have credible inputs that BJP is going to rig the elections. And this has been the biggest blot on what has happened, like Jay Prakash Narayan once said to Nehru in the parliament, that when we look at Kashmir, we feel ashamed, because how blatantly the elections were rigged from 53 to 75. Every election was rigged. We say something, we stand in contempt of court, and BJP blatantly talks about 370, even though the matter is sub -judice, and no action is taken. We all have to be united in our endeavors to impress upon the government of the day that this kind of undeclared emergency cannot continue forever. You are testing the patience of all the people. And for starters, we can release all the political prisoners. They are not even getting a fair trial like Vakar has said. It will be our submission that release political prisoners, start a no holds barred dialogue. It was between the forefathers of India and the people of Jammu and Kashmir. Now you have blatantly disrespecting the constitution of India, you have abrogated 370. There cannot be any substitute to what happened on 5th August 2019. It will stand even today. It continues to be a black day in the history of India. The way activists, political parties, leaders, even uh, young children, student activists were picked up and they were locked up in a jail. You won't believe we have suffered losses of more than 2 lakh crores. More than 2 lakh people as per the report of Kashmir Chamber and Commerce on that fateful day, what happened on 5th August 2019. Now this is very dangerous. What happened and the silence. If you will be, the share is big, the one who is saying, the one who so, you have to understand that today in Delhi, and Arvind Kejriwal is roaming from state after state. This federal structure, if it is not respected, what happened in Kashmir would definitely be replicated in other places. And it is happening. Now, my question is, the silence of people uh, before coming to this conference, I thought, who are we addressing? I would thank Mr. Shah, he has got Kashmiris from various shoes on, us, on, on one dais. As far as we are concerned, because it was a promise made by the people, by, by the forefathers of India to the people of Jammu and Kashmir. There will never be any compromise on 35A or 370. And also because the case is sub -judice. The heights of uh, the, discussing these cases, many people from BJP make, make these remarks and they don't stand in contempt of court. They say Article 370 has been buried under the ground. If Article 370 finds its very genesis in the very instrument of accession, how can you unilaterally, without any concurrence of the people, without any concurrence of the leadership of that state, go ahead and take a step like this, which makes it not only illegal, arbitrary, but also unconstitutional, as per the constitution of India. Now, when we discuss the Kashmir issue, in total we are discussing a lot of points, we are discussing elections also, the institutions of India are losing its credibility. Madam Haksar is here, we hold her in very high esteem. India embodied that humanity. Like in the last discussion also when Mr. Dulat was here, I took a name, names of so many parliamentarians from mainland India. There is no difference. We are all children of the same mother, India, Pakistan and Bangladesh. When we come to the brass tax, we are so similar to each other. All these differences are just in our mind. If you, if you move across the length and breadth of all the states in India, and if we come to a common consensus that rule of law has to be upheld, what happened on 5th August 2019 was a murder of Indian democracy. It was a blot on Indian democracy what happened on that fateful day. And as, as of now, when we address the people of India, you need to feel for the Kashmiris. You are not leaving any option available for us. I didn't want to come to this conference. All the points I had to make, I have made last time. And I hope so the people of India understand their responsibility in today's time. Your very democracy, the idea of India is in danger today. Just yesterday, a man from Haryana, a Muslim boy, he was telling, he was naming, using a name, alias for his name. He was adopting a name from some other religion. Is it not a shame for the very idea of India? A country which embodied the principle of secularism, a minority is living under the name of an alias. Is it not saddening? Now, this, this battle, we are all unanimous. I don't see anybody as an adversary here. Because I have interacted with minorities, we believe in this principle. Like Gandhiji once said, a nation is known by how it treats its minorities. I know my minorities in Jammu and Kashmir. 
I know when when uh, our, our dear friend from Panthers party, he was assaulted. I was the first person in the night I made a call to him. I told him, no, this is wrong. We can agree to disagree on a lot of things, but we will have the rule of law has to be followed. Now, my suggestions to this August gathering would be, if any of you have any opportunity to talk to this government, I, I without mincing any words, it is my feeling and a very strong feeling that this government wants Kashmiris to pick up guns because it is closing, closing all the options from them. Media is being muzzled. You had a press club in Srinagar. For the love of God, please tell me where that press club is. There is no freedom of expression in Jammu and Kashmir. When we talk, we talk, we risk our lives, we put our lives on the line to stand up for the rights of people of Jammu and Kashmir. It is my su uh, submission to you that if elections take place, they should take place on a ballot paper, not on EVM, because we have credible inputs that BJP is going to rig the elections. And this has been the biggest blot on what has happened, like Jay Prakash Narayan once said to Nehru in the parliament, that when we look at Kashmir, we feel ashamed, because how blatantly the elections were rigged from 53 to 75, every election was rigged. Now my submission would be, all, the, all my friends from various states of India, I will tell you, you need to protect the essence of India today. You need to protect your democracy. Your institutions are losing their credibility. Like our dear friend from Panthers party said, when the election commission came, all the parties said that elections should take place. The elected representatives will voice the sentiments of people of Jammu and Kashmir. That is not happening. Now you have muzzled media and the state of judiciary is better known to you. When we say something, we stand in contempt of court and BJP blatantly talks about 370 even though the matter is sub -judice and no action is taken. We all have to be united in our endeavors to impress upon the government of the day that this kind of undeclared emergency cannot continue forever. You are testing the patience of all the people. Please. My limited Please. final submission would be that Kashmir has to be looked upon as a humane issue and we all should understand that it has a historical perspective. India and Pakistan are signatories to Resolution 47. Before coming to 370, we should resolve, try and, and very uh, wholeheartedly get all the stakeholders online and, and for starters, we can release all the political prisoners. They are not even getting a fair trial like Vakar has said. It will be our submission that release political prisoners, start a uh, no holds barred dialogue without any condition, an unconditional dialogue with the people of Jammu and Kashmir, with the people of India. And, uh, and to the civil society, I am telling, the matters in Kashmir, the, all, this, all these experiments that uh, BJP is conducting, first it is done in Kashmir and then it is replicated elsewhere in India. Thank you.